women have always been portrayed as damsels in distress and scantily clad, not just in video games but also in movies. In the world of Final Fantasy, though, they are unforgettable, beautiful, talented and gifted women who men can easily fall in love with. This could have effortlessly been a list of 30, but my limit break can only do 10 for now. Let us all breeze through a list of the 10 hottest ladies in Final Fantasy. Raffia, Final Fantasy 3. One look at her and you'll know what the definition of charming is. She isn't dressed scantily, yet her charming smile and gentleness goes leaps and bounds. Raffia was raised in the village of Kazus. She symbolizes affection and that is enough to cast a spell on you. With a face that could launch a thousand airships, any guy wouldn't mind giving her some affection of their own. It's hard to pass by her without noticing her glow. She certainly projects a girl next door vibe that catches our attention each and every time. Rydia of Mist, Final Fantasy IV. She is a very powerful summoner who honed such mastery in the Fey March, the land of the Eidolons itself. As powerful as she is, She's also quite forgiving and understanding. Cecil and Cain inadvertently killed her mother, yet she ended up saving their lives. A truly admirable trait. She's definitely the kindest in this list. Rydia is absolutely ravishing in her green gown, which is so soothing to the eyes. A quick glance at her is simply not enough. Her beauty is tempting to be stared upon at. She is desirable and alluring, possessing traits that make men weak. Tara Branford, Final Fantasy VI Tara is a daughter of a human and a magic creature known as an Esper. Arguably, she's the most magical woman in our list, literally. In her world, she's the only super soldier gifted with devastating magic. She's well known for destroying 50 Magitek armors in battle in under 3 minutes. The uninitiated will find that scary. We, however, surely find it mighty impressive. Think twice before hitting on her with bad pickup lines. She's powerful like a queen or a goddess, and she'd bring men to their knees either way. Tifa Lockhart, Final Fantasy VII. She is a member of the echo terrorist group Avalanche and the owner of the Seventh Heaven Bar in the slums of Midgar. Hmm, a businesswoman. Now we're talking. Thank God, Cloud never really made any move on Tifa which is probably the only reason why she's still single. Tifa is Final Fantasy VII's brawler, capable of inflicting heavy blows on her foes. Don't be deceived by her brute strength, as she is one of the most caring character you'll ever meet. She's a perfect example of a strong, independent, and attractive female character. Renoa Hartilly, Final Fantasy VIII Renoa is a 17-year-old member of a resistance faction known as the Forest Owls. She's beautiful and lovely and will effortlessly steal your heart away. Can you remember how you timidly place your eyes on Renoa with that look on your face? Renoa is the most charming entry in our list, with a perfect balance of frailty and charm. No man is hard enough for Renoa. She even managed to turn a socially awkward emo into a romantic fool. She is such a graceful dancer, and I'm betting there are lines upon lines of boys who waited to dance with her in the prom. Squall is one lucky bastard. I hate to admit it, but I was jealous at some point. Garnet till Alexandros the 17th. Final Fantasy 9. Let's call her by her nickname, Dagger. A fitting name for she can pierce your heart with her cuteness. The Princess of Alexandria is such a beautiful young woman. Dagger is well-spoken and highly educated and possesses a strong will. However, due to her sheltered upbringing, she's also shy and quite naive, and it's cute. In battle, she can cast white magic and can summon Eidolons. Her gleeful disposition makes her so adorable, and you can't help but care for her with utmost importance. Undeniably, she is the cutest girl to ever exist in the Final Fantasy multiverse. Yuna, Final Fantasy X. 
She is a high summoner embarking on a journey to defeat the world-threatening monster Sin alongside her companions. She herself is the loveliest companion you could ever hope for. There's something about Yuna that makes her so captivating. You will be spellbound upon looking at her green and blue eyes, especially her smile. You'll never want to see her cry as it'll break your heart into tiny little pieces. She is not only the prettiest lady in Final Fantasy, but also the most delicate. The only bad news? This guy who she's in love with. That hurts. Ashilia Benargan Dalmasca, Final Fantasy XII. Ash is the 19-year-old princess of Dalmasca and the main female character in Final Fantasy XII, fighting to liberate her kingdom from the Arcadian Empire. You might want to visit Dalmasca now because she is a lonely widow. She spent the two years following her husband's death in mourning and continued to wear her wedding ring. At a young age, she showed courage in situations where men cower in fear. She is the leader of a resistance and the sole heir to the throne of Dalmasca. Her Highness is the most majestic lady in our list. She is exquisite and refined, exuding an awe-inspiring royal flair. Marry her and you'll be the king of Dalmasca. Claire Farron, Final Fantasy XIII. Better known as Lightning, she is the most enigmatic lady in our list and the most cunning just as the name implies. Lightning may be more than capable of battling through entire armies and legions of monsters, but like any other entry in our list, she's still a lady. She fights gracefully, winning battles and hearts all over town. She can be cold at times, which makes it extra special when she decides to be sweet and kind. She's also busy saving mankind itself. Men have always been the embodiment of strength. Well, not anymore, thanks to Lightning. Cindy, Final Fantasy XV. Sid's first female counterpart, a mechanic and engineer. There can't be any doubt, Cindy is the smartest lady in our list. She's also quite sexy. The short shorts, blonde locks, and the cap all add up to her approachable vibe. You know a woman is gorgeous when she still looks the part, even with all the grease stains. She's no doubt a foxy lady. By the time this video is uploaded, Final Fantasy XV isn't out yet. There are only rumors and speculations about her personality and background. You can't deny though, that she is shaping up to be quite a dream. You'd fancy meeting her, but you'd have to go through them. And there you have it. 10 Hottest Ladies in Final Fantasy. This episode begs for a sequel. It's a crime not to include those who I've missed out. In the meantime, check the other videos in this channel if you want to have more fun. Thanks for watching the video. You are awesome.